You have to remember that I've already told you that chapter 34 of the book of Isaiah is the full manifestation of what we see here on the Iraqi dinar, completely. And I'm about to 100% prove that. And this should show you without a doubt that these guys absolutely believe themselves to be the inheritors of the earth in the kingdom age. Everything that I've told you about this thousand year physical reign on earth having nothing to do with us and having everything to do with the God of this earth is going to be completely shown to you right before your eyes in an incredible, amazing way. Now, I've already done so much talk about this that I'm just going to kind of just casually float you through here what Isaiah 34 is all about. It talks about the sacrifice that's going to be made. Okay, and we see here in line six, the sacrifices in relationship to lambs and goats. It's going to take place in this location called Basra in Adume. We've already shown what that's all about. It ties up directly to New York City. We see that these unicorns are going to come down with them after the sacrifice and the bullets with the bulls. Well, that's manifestation number one. There's our unicorns, false Israel, which is being exalted with the signs of the Pleiades, the seven stars, which are those seven circles, and the royal arch of Freemasonry. We see that it goes from the green pasture land to this yellow golden tone, which is symbolizing the coming golden age of which Ephraim believes it's going to be exalted in. As we see here, the Sumerian god here in the center is considered a bull. So we have the complete and total fulfillment of line seven and the unicorn shall come down with them and the bullocks with the bulls, their land shall be soaked with blood and the dust made fat with fatness. So after the sacrifice, after the land soaked with blood, then we get the exaltation of the unicorns with the coming down of the bulls. As we move forward, we begin to see Isaiah start talking about these birds of heaven. And he even goes on to describe these dragons, which are going to inherit the land inherent the kingdom the kingdom age which is telling you that this is false israel this is the occult this is mystery babylon which has written itself into the bible that they're going to inherit this thousand year kingdom age now look here at verse 14 it describes the screech owl also shall rest there that's the important symbolism as we move to verse 15 listen closely there shall the great owl make her nest and lay and hatch and gather under her shadow. There shall the vultures also be gathered, every one with her mate. So in short, it says after this sacrifice that the great owl, the great mystery religion, is going to be laying and hatching its eggs over the land, its fruits. It's going to be giving up its occultic fruits. In abiding there under its occultic shadow, we see that the vultures are going to be gathered after the sacrifice. Well, I told you, and I've already shared with you, that the vultures directly translate to eagle. And then, of course, we have Nesher, vultures, equals eagle. And then I've showed the many connections that the eagles have to Ephraim, which are going to be the unicorns, which are really trying to bring about this sacrifice on their own land, the USA at one geographical location, which is going to be New York City, which is going to time up with the location symbolic of Idume, Basra, and then of course uh, Sodom in Egypt that we saw in Revelation 11. All of that is going to be symbolized as New York City. So after the sacrifice takes place, we see the exaltation of all of these birds of heaven that are going to, are going to inherit the land. Well, here's what's important. When you see these vultures are going to be gathered together under the great owl, I want you to understand that the vultures and the unicorns are one and the same. We're talking about the Ephraimites. We're talking about false Israel. Look what we have here on this picture here. This is going to be that great owl. This is the queen of heaven. And I want you to notice right here at the bottom that she has conquered the lions. I told you that they're trying to destroy the believers in Jesus Christ, symbolized by the lion. Notice these two owls right beside her. Notice her feet look like eagle's feet as they are submitting the lion. Well, it says that these vultures, which now we know are eagles, are going to be gathered together under the owl. Look at this. Look at the owl shape at the top as it's gathered together under unicorn eagles.